Are you all excited to learn something new? Well, stay focused as we tackle module 7. You will learn important information towards reaching your goals in your life because first it will help you understand the significance of observing and practicing personal hygiene and good grooming. Second, it will help you maintain yourself clean and well groomed all the time. And third, it will help you alter the wrong practices in terms of personal hygiene and good grooming. This lesson is from the most essential learning competencies or wills. Our goal is at the end of this lesson, you are expected to 1. Identify the behavior requirements of personal hygiene. 2. Explain the importance of good grooming in a workplace. 3. Perform and washing techniques as a means of practicing personal hygiene. that signifies cleanliness and freedom from the risk of infectious diseases. A. Hazards B. Sanitation C. Hygiene D. Cleanliness If your answer is letter C, very good! You got the correct answer! When does the perfect time for the personal to wash their hands to ensure food safety. A. At the start of food handling activities. B. Immediately after using the toilet. C. After handling raw food or any contaminated materials. D. All of the above. If your answer is letter D, very good! You are doing great! Which of the following is the concern of personal hygiene? A. Freedom from any diseases B. Wearing a clean washable garments C. Observing sanitary habits and clean hands D. All of the above If your answer is letter D, wonderful! You are indeed correct! Last item, which of the following is not a GMP requirement on personal hygiene? A. Hazard analysis B. Health status C. Illnesses and injuries D. Personal cleanliness If your answer is letter A, you are amazing! Well done! Congratulations! If you get the right answers, don't you worry. We will explore more about this topic and you will learn facts and information necessary for you to effectively perform your task at the end of this lesson. So, ablaze yourself as you are now about to start the journey. Let's start with, let's watch this video.
proper hygiene, you will not get ill. Manage yourself, keep it clean, a healthy life you feel. Now let us answer the following questions. What are the good hygiene habits that were shown in the video? That's right! Bathing, washing of hands, brushing the teeth and flossing, using a face mask and exercising are the good hygiene habits that were mentioned in the song. We must and should incorporate these habits in our daily life, especially hand washing. This will help stop the spread of coronavirus disease. Also, using a face mask to protect ourselves from COVID-19 virus. This is one of the recommendations of the IATF now that cases are still increasing. Number two, based from the video, how will you define personal hygiene? Very good. Hygiene is a series of practices performed to preserve health. Or simply, we can say that hygiene signifies cleanliness and freedom from the risk of infectious disease. According to WHO, hygiene refers to conditions or practices that help us to maintain health and prevent the spread of diseases. Why is practicing personal hygiene important? That's right. It is very important so you will not get ill. Practicing personal hygiene prevents us from catching and spreading diseases. We can avoid a myriad of illnesses through upholding proper hygiene and grooming. It is very important because it affects not only our physical appearance but our health as well. If we keep ourselves tidy, we will be more resistant to diseases caused by bacteria. Therefore, we can lessen the probability of getting sick. Every day, we encounter millions of outside germs and viruses. They can linger in our body and in some cases, they make us sick. This is due to improper hygiene and poor grooming. We tend to forget the importance of taking care of our health. And this is actually the main reason why personal hygiene and proper grooming is taught for the people to realize that it helps prevent any kind of diseases and illnesses. And this is very essential, especially nowadays that we are facing difficult situations. We need to be healthy to fight COVID-19 virus. And that starts with proper hygiene and good grooming practices. But how are these related or connected to good manufacturing practices? Good Manufacturing Practices, or GMP, is a system for ensuring that products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. It is a broad term and includes accepted standards in the safety and maintenance of production or processing plant. And of course, this processing plant is composed of production personnel who handle the food during production. Like in food or fish processing, GMPs are mandatory for every plant to follow. Sanitation Standard Operating Procedures or SSOP are components of good manufacturing practices or GMPs. Now, here are the GMP requirements on personal hygiene. Number one, health status. Workers known or suspected to be suffering from or a carrier of a disease should not be allowed to enter any food handling area. They should not be allowed to work on food as they can be sources of contamination. All personnel must be healthy. If anyone becomes sick while well on the line, it should be reported to the supervisor. This personnel should go home and rest. They should be quarantined until cured and safe from spreading the disease. A food handler is the person who handles food during production. If a food handler has an open and infected wounds or sores in the hands or arms, he should not be allowed to handle food products directly for they can contaminate food they touch. They should be aware of dangers of haphazards or careless practices. Therefore, medical examination of a food handler should be carried out if clinically or epidemiologically indicated. When we say epidemiological, this describes the origin and development of a particular disease. 
The second requirement is illnesses and injuries. Like diseases of the respiratory tract, intestinal problems, and skin disorders. This condition should be reported to the management so that any affected persons need to subject themselves to medical examinations and be excluded from handling food. Diseases of the respiratory tract such as common cold, sore throat, pneumonia, scarlet fever, tuberculosis, and French mouth. Respiratory tract infections spread microorganisms such as staphylococci, which are indigenous to portions of the respiratory tract. Intestinal disorders such as dysentery, typhoid fever, and infectious hepatitis. People suffering from intestinal disorders usually shed a lot of intestinal bacteria such as Shigella, Salmonella, and etc. which may be transmitted to food by dirty hands. According to ICMSF 1988, a person suffering from salmonellosis, for example, may shed as many as 10 cells per gram of feces or poop during illness. Take note, a single gram of human feces, which is almost the weight of a paper clip, can contain 1 trillion germs. So imagine class eating contaminated food or mishandled foods. It brings a lot of illnesses. Now, how personal hygiene affects the job of an employee? Very good. One consequence is that people get sick, stop working, and take time to recover. And this can affect productivity and morale. So why is hygiene important in the workplace? Yes, that's right. It is important because hygiene contributes to a healthy workforce. Of course, a healthy workforce is happier and more productive. And if it's healthy, this also means workers take less sick leave or absent from work. Maintaining cleanliness in the workplace not only creates a healthier environment for employees, but also tends to help companies become more efficient and productive. Next is skin disorders such as sores, abrasions, and lesions, infected ears, boil, scabies, and severe rashes. The usual site for harboring staphylococci are cuts, burns, abrasions, and postular lesions. When infected person handle food, the hazard of passing staphylococci from skin surfaces to food increases. That's why pre-employment physical emanation is usually required for every person intended to work in a food processing plant in order to establish freedom from diseases. The next requirement is personal cleanliness. Food holders should maintain a high degree of personal cleanliness by wearing a suitable protective clothing from head to toe. Personal protective equipment or PPE is a very important aspect in ensuring safety in food manufacturing plants. As food handling safety tools, they provide a barrier between the contributing factors and the workers. This is crucial in the food processing industry where most operations are done by hand. Personnel should always wash their hands when personal cleanliness may affect food safety. This could be done at the start of food handling activities, immediately after using the toilet, or after handling raw food or any contaminated material where this could result in the contamination of other food items. They should avoid handling ready-to-eat food when unsure of cleanliness in the process of preparing it. People engaged in food handling activities should refrain from behavior or habits that could result in food contamination like smoking. Because ash, cigarette butts, and smoke can all contaminate food. When you smoke, harmful bacteria pass from your mouth to your hands and onto the food. Spitting. Germs travel quickly over distances causing your product to be microbiologically contaminated. Sneezing or coughing over unprotected food. Well, do not underestimate how fast germs can spread through sneezing and coughing. A study in the journal Fluid Mechanics showed that smaller cough and sneeze droplets travel great distances. Chewing or eating, small droplets of saliva can contain thousands of pathogens. Personal effects such as jewelry, pins, or other items should not be worn or brought into food handling areas as they pose a threat to the safety and suitability of food. 
not only the employees but also visitors in food manufacturing or processing or handling areas should wear appropriate protective clothing and adhere to personal hygiene provisions. This could include clothes uniform that will stay in, in the plant to prevent all contamination from entering and exiting the building. Shoes should be cleaned before entering a production floor. This could be achieved by using a sprayer or walking through a pink bath. However, this is so no hair is in the product. No hair should be pulled back and fully placed under a hairnet. No excess hair should be sneaking out. If a person has any facial hair, such as beard or mustache, then an appropriate net should be worn. All hair in the body should be covered. This is so any filth doesn't get into the food because this affects the quality of the product. My dear grade 8 learners, those are the DNP requirements of personal hygiene that a food handler should follow. Okay, now let's put into practice what you have learned from today's lesson. Again, get ready with your notebook and ball pen. Put a check mark if the statement is correct and X if it is wrong. Are you ready? Let's begin! Do not wear appropriate work outfit on a food handling area. Check or wrong. answer is X. Very good! Personal effects such as jewelry, pins, or other items should be worn or brought into food handling areas. Check or wrong? The answer is X. You are correct! Those who are suffering from or a carrier of a disease should not be allowed to enter any food handling area. Check or wrong? The answer is check. Very good. All personnel who will prepare food must wash their hands before and after. Check or wrong? answer is check very good all personnel should be well groomed that is to say makeup is a must for girls check or wrong the answer is check chewing or eating anywhere is allowed during food preparation check or wrong answer is wrong you are amazing people who are engaged in food handling activities should smoke and spit anywhere it is check or wrong the answer is wrong you are amazing all personnel who will enter in the processing areas must wear complete personal protective equipment Check or wrong? The answer is check. Very good. Medical examination of a food handler should be carried out. Check or wrong? The answer is check. Very good. You are doing great! Congratulations! Now let's sum up. Here are the key points from today's lesson. For your final evaluation, do this task. Perform the hand washing techniques as a means of practicing good hygiene and sanitation. Send a one minute video following the procedures given. Be guided by the performance criteria checklist.
send your output via GC or PM me. See you next time on my next video. This is your teacher Russ saying, in TLA, we have knowledge, skills, and progress.